And our favorite pig is the... Hereford. The Hereford pig. They are the best. And we'll talk about why they are the best here in a moment. So we'll first start with talking about some of the different breeds of pigs that we've raised. Uh, if you've been following our channel, you know what we've raised. But we did start with Blue Butts, which are a Yorkshire, Hampshire cross or some other type of cross. They were good, but for me, they're too lean. They're more like a the commercial pig and I mean it was better quality but it was this, basically the same very lean like you buy it at, uh, at the grocery store mm -hmm. but they were super fun pigs and that kind of got us excited about raising pigs so we doubled down yeah so after we started we and we bought those as feeders we never bred them when we started looking for pigs for the next year and found that it was difficult to find and the prices were quite expensive because I think we only paid like $60 a pig for those at the time yeah but the following year the the prices had gone up and they said well maybe we can breed our own and sell sell the sell the others so we started looking at what types of pigs would be good for a small farm and good for the northern climate here in northern michigan mm -hmm. so we wanted a winter hardy pig and we wanted high quality pork so that's when we found the mangalitsas and the mangalitsas People have good luck with them. Mm -hmm. I've got a video on why we don't raise mangalitsas anymore. And ours just had bad temperaments. Um, they were excellent mothers. In the previous video, I said we had two out of three get pregnant. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the third one didn't. But they definitely had the best bacon that I think I've ever had in my life. It like melts the, in your mouth. The fat literally melts in your mouth and it was the best bacon. And they were really winter hardy. They did a great job here in the winter. So they were just what we had hoped they would be, except that they we would, didn't really like to interact with Yeah, them. they would push you around and bite at you and then be, they were mean to the other pigs, so. Yeah, but that's not, there are people who raise mangalitsas and they're the sweetest pigs and they do great for them. So for us, our mangalitsa experience wasn't great, but don't let that ruin mangalitsas for you. Yeah. And if you're wondering, Kelsey's standing on a bag of soil. She's not actually the stall. <laughs> <laughs> they are a lard pig, the mangalitsas, and they have a slower grow out. So they're like a 16 to 18 month grow out for a purebred mangalitsas. And that's not something that is feasible for a lot of people, especially if you're trying to sell pork. During our venture into mangalitsas, we bought Boris, our Tamworth boar. Mm -hmm. So looking at heritage breeds and pigs that do well outside and things like that we came about the Tamworth and we have a video all about the Tamworth pig and they're considered the original bacon breed and then we found six uh, gilts we ended up uh, keeping we, two we kept two two Tamworth gilts and we successfully bred them we have the two 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 sows now and they both have their flaws one of them is getting culled because she had the rectal prolapse and that is not known to be a genetic issue not sure why it happened and she farrowed her piglets and as gross as it is and uh, pigs are tough animals and we saw that with this pig because basically that prolapse had rotted off and her rectal area looks completely like normal it is amazing she is functioning like a normal healthy pig so we're gonna let her finish raising out and um nursing her piglets um but then we are going to call her yep, it's not fair to put her through another another pregnancy and risk that happening yep. again yep she's she's done in a few weeks yeah the other sow that we have tamar sow is the best mother i think we have on the farm mm -hmm. other than the cooney coonies so but they're yeah, we're just talking just about talking large today we wake up in the morning and she has her piglets and she doesn't crush them. I don't. I can't. I, I don't. I don't remember what her average litter size is, but she is the most aware of her piglets. Mm -hmm. She does not crush. She moves them to different areas in in the pen. Mm -hmm. uh, makes new nests so she you know avoids crushing. But we have had to take measures to <laughs> separate ourselves from her when um, grabbing her piglets for castrating. If you don't mess with her piglets, she is fine. If she doesn't have piglets, she is fine. You go up to her, pet her, give her a shot. Yep. She is very docile. But the first couple weeks after she has piglets, she will 
come at you well, and only try to rip you, your face off. Only if you mess with her yeah. pikelets. She's a very good mother, but yeah, again, that's not necessarily a trait we want to keep yeah. on our farm. Um, so the tamworths, I think we had like medium success. We like them better than the mangalitsa. The pork is awesome. They're good mothers, but I don't know, we, I guess we still felt like we were looking for something that was a little better fit for our yeah. farm. So they're, they're a slower grow out. Seven to nine months, you you can throw the feed to them. We we always we feed all our pigs twice a day. You can throw the feed to them, fatten them up faster. But in order for them to be considered a bacon, the bacon breed, you need to get them long, and that means you know from from the tail to their nose. You have to probably raise them out for about a year before they get that extra length. And the reason why they're the bacon breed is because they stay lean while they're growing out. So if you feed them twice a day, like we do ours, they will, they're sl slower growing, they stay leaner, but they, their length is longer than uh, like the, the Hereford. Yeah, and bacon, if you didn't know, because I didn't before we started raising pigs, bacon is the, like the belly meat. And it's not just like, you don't want necessarily a fat pig, you want a long pig with a longer belly to give you more bacon. Right. And that's one of the downfalls to me of the Tamworth for the other cuts is that the other cuts then are leaner. So I like a more uh, rich, fatty pork. So I always tell people never trust a skinny farmer. So trust this fat guy. So that brings us to our favorite large breed pig, which is the Hereford, like we mentioned. Um, obviously, this is a, a subjective video. There are plenty of other breeds of pigs that we have not raised. Mm -hmm. This is our opinion. We're not even going to go down the path of trying to raise, you know, large blacks or red wattles, red wattles or whatever other types of pigs there are, because we have found what we want as far as the pig to raise on our farm. Oh, and we have this in video evidence, right? This is not going to be another hollow promise, like no more cows, Kelsey. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm done with trying to figure out the pig pig thing yeah I think we've figured out what we we want I'm not gonna go out looking for any more exotic breed pigs <laughs> maybe exotic more some exotic breed cows but. yeah there we go we need a zebu so the Herefords we have done taste tests you can watch on our channel maybe we'll link a video but we do a lot of taste tests to compare like pork chops from different breeds and stuff and by far everybody's favorite consistently with the exception of that mangalitsa bacon, the Hereford wins every taste off. Yeah, overall quality of the pork, juiciness, tenderness, it's been been the best. The ham has really good intramuscular fat. We've only had it a few different times because we sold uh, was a half a pig to my dad. Mm -hmm. So we've, you know, borrowed, traded, swapped different cuts with him mm -hmm. and have really only had it a, a handful of times, but, but mainly for those taste off videos and mm -hmm. and yeah the Hereford hands down has other than the bacon has 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 come out on top yeah and the Hereford bacon would be a close second it was really good bacon too yeah we're in the greenhouse and the camera's overheating now we're freezing <laughs> so now we'll be in the greenhouse the camera will be outside so it doesn't <laughs> overheat gotta love michigan so some of the other things that we really love about our Hereford is her incredible temperament she is so calm and docile. She's easy to move. And in fact, when she farrowed for the very first time, Mike and our kids all had their little lawn chairs in the farrowing pen and they were just hanging out in there with her while she was delivering her piglets. It's really remarkable just how pleasant she is to work with for a big pig. You would think we were giving her marijuana or something. She's so chill. She's awesome. But even for being so chill, she doesn't crush many piglets. She does a really good job keeping them alive. She has large litters. Like she often has 12 or more piglets. And she's pretty much average nine, keeping nine alive. Mm -hmm. We expect that loss. Uh, that's something that comes along with it. Some of those pigs, piglets coming out, runts or whatever, they just aren't fit and- They won't make it. They don't, they won't make it. So even, even putting more effort into, you know, trying to pan feed them or whatever, you know, likely they, they're not gonna, going to make it. But they also have a fast grow out. So they get fatter and juicier faster. So six to seven months, you can have 
your pigs ready to go to market. So you can have a 300 pound live weight pig, have that pork in your freezer faster than like a Tamworth, faster than a Mangalitsa, and better than a blue butt. And part of that benefit, we should add like in a little asterisk here, we have only ever crossbred our Hereford. So we always breed her to either our Tamworth sow or our Berkshire, sorry, our Tamworth boar or our Berkshire boar. So her piglets have all been hybrids and you would expect hybrids of any combination would grow bigger, faster, and have better survival rates. So some of it might be that we have crossbred piglets from her also. But the piglets that we've raised out from her have all, have basically the, the Hereford quality. They have the white face, they have the big juicy butts, and yeah. they have nice big shoulders. So the traits of the Hereford have been dominant from those, those crossbreds. Mm -hmm. So what we've, with our last video and our going forward plan, we're keeping our, our sow Sally. We are keeping one of her and is it Boris's? Yep. Yeah, Boris's gilt. So it's a T Tamworth Hereford cross gilt. We're going to breed Sally back to the Tamworth for the potential of keeping another future gilt. So that means that our Tamworths are leaving the farm. We are going to keep our Berkshire board to do that terminal cross with our up and coming breeders. And basically, like we said, we're gonna have one to three breeding sows and figure out how many piglets we need to raise to support our pork business. Yes. So there you have it. Herefords are our favorite pig for our homestead. They have what well, the pork we like best. They have the temperaments that are docile and calm that we like best. And they do really well in our northern Michigan climates where we have cold, nasty winters and hot summers. They do really well here. So I'm thinking this is what we're gonna stick with. Wish us luck. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys.